Hey everyone, in this video, I'll discuss about what's the difference between 32 bit and 64 bit operating system. You all have heard this term before, and uh, many of you still wonder that which version you should install on your computer 32 bit or 64 bit. So, let's talk about this. Okay, so 32 bit or 64 bit operating system that entirely depends upon the hardware, the CPU. And uh, let me explain with the help of an uh, diagram. See, in your computer, you have you already know that what's the role of RAM? RAM is basically used to run the application. When you uh, when you run any application or software, that is first loaded into RAM. Then from the RAM, it uh, the data or the address is moved to the CPU register where the processing is done. Fine, CPU is the one who processes all the uh, all the commands, all the instructions. Then the results are stored back to the RAM. Now, so there's a, always a communication between CPU and RAM. If your CPU is 32 bit version, that means it can handle 32 bits of information at a time. And if your CPU is 64 bit, that means it can handle 64 bits of information at a time. Now, you already know what's the meaning of the word bit. Bit, you already know what's the meaning of bit. Uh, bit is basically it can have only two values or either one or zero so if it is one bit register then it can store two values either zero or one and two bit register can store uh, can have four values that is that will be zero 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 one one zero and one one fine and n bit register will have can have two raised power n values so similarly if we are talking about 32 bit register the C uh, register which is local to cpu it can address uh, it can have 2 raised power 32 value which is equivalent to 4 GB of RAM. That's why the, uh, you must have heard that if uh, if your uh, computer is 32 bit, you can uh, you can address the system can address about 4 GB of RAM. Fine. And if it is 64 bit, it is equivalent to it can uh, in RAM the CPU can address 2 raised power 64 which is equivalent to 16 exa uh, byte or uh, 16 billion gigabytes of RAM. So the version that you will choose for your operating system, whether 32-bit or 64-bit, it depends upon the CPU architecture. If your CPU architecture is 32-bit, go for 32-bit. If your CPU architecture is 64-bit, you have the option of moving to 32-bit or 64-bit. So that's the difference between 32-bit and 64-bit. It is CPU dependent and also uh, from CPUs itself, you can say uh, you can uh, how much RAM it can handle. Fine. So this is how you can choose, and this is the difference between 32-bit and 64-bit operating system. Now coming to the second question, that uh, how can I check? I have right now I'm using Windows in my computer. And I want to check whether I'm using 64-bit version or 32-bit or uh, how can I check this. For that, all you have to do is just go to, I mean, just right click on the computer. You can find it anywhere and go to the properties. Uh, yeah, just look for the properties of the computer and you will see in this system information here it is written system type equals to 64-bit operating system and x64 uh, based processor now my operating system is 64-bit and my processor can uh, uh, process 64-bit of information at a time okay this is how you can check it okay so yeah let me minimize it second question is uh, which version can I install my computer now this one is you let's say you have 32-bit th uh, operating system on your computer sorry let's say you have 32-bit CPU you can check the information from there x64 or 32-bit if it is 32-bit you can install 32-bit operating system but you cannot install 64-bit operating system on 32-bit CPU fine so but if you have 64 bit operating system you can install either 32 bit or 64 any either of those operating systems okay next question uh, can you upgrade from 32 bit to 64 bit operating system yeah if you have uh, it's answer relies on the previous question that if you have 32 bit yeah you can uh, you can have only 32 bit if you have 64 bit you can choose any of the 32 or 64 bit operating system that's uh, entirely depends upon your cpu architecture now here is the one very good thing 
one thing is your cpu another another considerable factor is ram as well let's say now in, if we talk about the 64 bit version now which in which scenario you should choose 32 bit and in which scenario you should choose 64 bit that will lead to our next question which is better 32 bit or 64 bit okay if you have on your computer if the ram is almost less than or uh, almost equals to 4 gb then go for 32 bit if you're using 32 bit or 64 bit they will give you equal power if you have ram less than equal to 4 gb but if you have ram greater than uh, if you have ram greater than or equal to 4 gb oh sorry 4 gb yeah and if you have a ram greater than or equal to 4 gb then go for 64 bit operating system now why why i'm not doing this see you know your 32 bit operating system can address only 4 gigabytes of addresses let's say in your computer you have 8 gb of ram fine but your cpu architecture is 32 bit then the 4 gb ram is extra 4 gb ram will not be of any use to you because your computer will not be able to address this cpu will not be able to address this so that extra 4 gb will be just waste you won't be you won't be able uh, get extra power in that case if your cpu is 64 bit whether you have less than or equal to 4 gb ram or greater than equal to 4 gb ram it will give you uh, if you have less than 4 gb ram it will equivalent, it will be equivalent to 32 bit and if you have more than 4 gb ram you will get extra power that means you can handle your computer can handle more information at a time the workload could be done uh, much faster because it can process much bits at us at the at the same time yeah so that was the difference what's the difference between 32 bit and 64 bit i hope next time if somebody asks you that what's the difference and you can give your answer very clearly so just for the review 32 bit or 64 bit that depends upon the cpu architecture how many bits the cpu can process at a time and that is also dependent upon how much ram you have in your computer so two factors ram and CPU that decides which version of Windows, which version of uh, how many bit version of uh, operating system you will install in your computer. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching and bye.